Hello, hello, guys. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Testing one, two, three. I'm a little out of breath. I had to carry my 75 pound pit bull up the stairs. He hurt his leg. <laughs> and uh, here I am. Hope you're all having a good evening. I've, we've got something really interesting in store for you a live unboxing. I'm going to unbox something. I'll explain all about it in just a moment. But first, uh, please tell me in the comments, can you hear me? And let's see. Truly Tuli is here. Tony, Mark. Hey, looks like the gang is showing up. TJF. And we have, uh, looks like, according to what I'm looking at, four or five people here. And uh, we're going to do a little unboxing. If you are new to my auctions, the instructions are on the screen right now. Uh, the auction will take place tomorrow morning at 8.30 a.m. And you don't need to be a member. I know in some uh, places you need to be a member. Here you don't. Shipping is five bucks, but it's free if you're a member at level two, three, or four. Please keep track of your purchases and then pay for the total after the auction is over. And we're not sophisticated enough yet, uh, Mrs. T., uh, to do invoices. We're looking to get to that point. We're learning. seems like we learn something every week when we do these auctions. and uh, But we'll get there. Uh, we're just not there yet. So you guys keep track of your own purchases and then uh, pay when it's over. Uh, let the moderators moderate. Uh, they are uh, there to help facilitate. And I've got two, three awesome people. You've got Mark, my buddy from down under. You've got Tuli Tuli. Uh, from here in the Midwest, and then also from the Midwest, we have uh, Central Michigan Stacker. Also, uh, be courteous. No bad language. We're a friendly community, and we like to keep it that way. Bid increments, uh, as you could see, there's my finger right there, uh, under $100 is $1 bid increments. After we hit the $100 mark, which we will tomorrow, we've got some amazing stuff, uh, then it goes up to $100 or $5 per uh, increment. So, for example, if the bid is uh, $107, the next bid would have to be like $112 or more. All right, we've got Lee Coin, Star Stacker, all kinds of folks showing up. Uh, wow, we're up to 19. And enough of the rules. Uh, looks like we have a lot of veteran auction members here anyway. That was for the benefit of the folks who might just have come upon our auctions and want to participate. And the cool thing is, it seems like we've had more and more of those every week. We have new people showing up, and they come, they see stuff they like, they bid, they pay, and we promptly ship them their loot. And uh, speaking of loot, let me uh, give you a little preview. Uh, some of you who are familiar with my videos, watch my videos, may know a dude named A.J. Bain, Arthur Bain. AJ is a uh, famous silver pour artist. And when I go to shows, uh, people clamor around him and uh, they look to buy his stuff. Uh, and so I sent him a pretty large sum of money and said, hey, dude, uh, you're the man. Uh, just send me a box uh, equal to the value of what I sent you. And I don't care what it is. I trust you. <laughs> and I, I literally, I really don't have any idea what is in here. Uh, it showed up. I picked it up from the post office today, got really excited about it. And I thought, well, I could tear this box open or well, I know I'm doing a little uh, preview tonight. Maybe I'll just wait. And that's a little risky. What if I don't like the stuff that's in there? <laughs> Who knows? Uh, I think that would be uh, a uh, something that wouldn't happen, though, because uh, when this guy, uh, when you see his stuff, it's just absolutely amazing. And so what I haven't decided yet is, uh, and that's TBD, you guys will see along with me live right here, live what's in this box. And I tell you what, Mrs. T, you want to say hi? Hey, everyone. Happy Friday. <laughs> I'm just here, just trying to hang you know, on. Just, well, no, just trying to get ready to see what's in that box. Uh, the suspense is killing me. I don't know if you guys are ready to see what's in here. We'll open it up in just a moment. 
and it's been a long week. Uh, Mrs. T haven't even had, uh, she and I haven't even had an adult beverage yet. Uh, after this, we'll have an adult beverage and uh, maybe crash out. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, that I guess that's what happens when you're over 50. We're not like pre-gaming and going out partying. We are going to have a beverage or two and maybe uh, watch some Netflix. And uh, uh, hey, my buddy uh, Fasikas is here, Star Stacker, Tony, my silver journey is here. And so if you're just joining us, I'm going to open this box. What I was about to say is, I don't know what you and I are going to see and fall in love with and oh, want to keep. I know. And what we uh, offer our viewers, uh, we'll see in just a moment. So he's got it taped up pretty good, I see. But I'm kind of looking over here in this vicinity. I think this is my opening right yeah. here to open this up. So uh, without any further ado, we didn't decide you know, to come on here for 25, 30 minutes or anything like that. We just thought. Uh, oh, boy. You know what? You're trying to give people anxiety uh, on a Friday night. You know, at Mrs. T, everybody's trying to relax, but then they see these scissors. And it puts them in the... Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. guys. Sorry. I didn't mean to stress you out before the last Yeah. Week. Like, you know, poor Mark's not going to be able to go to sleep. It's already <laughs> three in the morning over there in Australia. And you're stressing people out, Sorry, Mrs. T. I didn't mean to stress anyone out. <laughs> Sorry, guys. All right. Well, let me see if I could just do this like the toddler style and see what we got here. And all right. There we go. Oh, boy. Here yeah. Oh, go. boy is right. Uh, and by the way, this stuff back here will be auctioned. The JM bar is really cool. I, I picked that up just yesterday. I've been scouring the coin shops as I usually do. Uh, oh, by the way, I have a new video that's coming out on Sunday, a brand new coin shop I had never been to in my life. And obviously I've never made a video there and uh, interviewed a couple of guys. I think you'll enjoy that. That's going to be on Sunday. And they had some really awesome vintage stuff some of which was like a little over my price range uh, or out of my price range, uh, but killer stuff that I'll show. And who knows, some of you might want to give them a call and take it off of their hands. All right, Mrs. Okay, T, you, you want to come a little closer uh, and check this out? Yeah, I'm, I'm Get a little super closer. Curious. Super curious. All right, here we go. All right, let's see what he says. All right. Ooh. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Wow, look at that. Check oh, that my. out. You've got a kneeling warrior there. Wow. Hey, AJ. I don't know, T. It's going to be <laughs> hard to part with some of this. Yeah, that is really cool. Wow. Really cool indeed. Uh, I don't know if he put uh, any um, certificates of authenticity in there. I wonder if it uh, is it St. Michael's, uh, St. Michael, oh, because okay. he's got the angel wings, but yet he's a warrior. Um, and so St. Michael... Uh, what is the uh, the defender defender of the faith? Okay, uh, so that is a cool that. piece, but there's more. Whoa, Whoa. take a look at this. Wow, you've got the little T Rex head, and it comes with wow, you can hang that on. I don't know if I would trust that on my key ring, I don't know. It's cool as heck, though. That is really cool. Yeah, I wasn't, I hadn't honestly, guys, I had no idea what to expect. Uh, I kind of get an idea of what I see him pouring. Let me put this over here uh -huh. um, because I'm Facebook friends with him. Uh -huh. And but I've never seen one of these little guys like this before. Uh -huh. I've got to weigh this and see what it is. Uh, let's see. Will that fit there? Necklace. My silver joints would maybe a necklace. Maybe a necklace. Oh, yeah. I think that maybe. you might be right. Mm -hmm. Hang that right there off your chest and uh, <laughs> yeah, on your neck. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. Uh -huh. let's see here. All right, well, there's something else. Oh, oh my wow. goodness! Whoa, he really outdid himself. Look at that. That's crazy. That is crazy. Oh, boy, guys. Uh, like I said, some of this is going to go in the auction. Some of it is not. Uh, and <laughs> Mrs. T and I can have a conversation tonight. Oh, man. I thought it was supposed to be a stress-free night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is cool. And I think that's just, well, no, this is still like, kind of heavy. There's still something in there. But 
Look yeah, at this Roman guy. Roman Empire says, wow, full T-Rex. Yeah, a full T-Rex is insane. Mike's like, bin. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that might be a bin from T the Silver Stacker. <laughs> Dang. I, I Honestly, I think he sells these for like several hundred dollars. So the fact that there's even more in there is a bit of a shocker. Uh, ooh, this is like a replica. Uh like a piece of eight or something like that, or mm -hmm. actually, um, what are these like a cob? Mm -hmm. This looks like a wreck replica of like a shipwreck mm -hmm. cob. Uh, my buddy Russ, the millennial numismatist, taught me all about cobs, mm -hmm. and that's what this looks like. That is cool, too. You've that got some, cool. and there's actually a little bit more weight in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is one of his marquee pieces. Mm -hmm. And you know what? This will definitely be in the auction. You know why, Mrs. C? I already have one of these. Yes. Uh, when I first met AJ yes. uh, in Chicago at the ANA, American Numismatic Association uh, coin show, which was massive, uh, I met him. We uh, shook hands. We talked. I did a video and I bought one of these from him. Uh, boy, it's been, it's been a while. It's like last November, if I remember correctly. So I already have one of these. Uh, yeah. This will be in an upcoming auction, maybe as soon as tomorrow morning. Yeah. But that is a cool, that cool is. piece. And yeah. let's see, I think the certificates of authenticity in are in here. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. There's actually another piece. silver piece. All right, there you go. Boom. Mm -hmm. And well, this is a little different. That is. The one on the left uh, and the one on the right looks slightly different. The one on the right has a golden mm -hmm. tinge to it. Um, I don't know what the process is there. Uh, the one on the right kind of looks like sand cast. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, man, that looks like pirate treasure for sure. Oh Silver and gold. Wow. Man, so he hooked me up with uh, quite the variety um man what a cool cool guy yeah, and know it's in brass it's not brass i don't it? think so i'm gonna take a look at the certificate of authenticity mm -hmm. let me find another little one of these things um let me move this stuff over here my new t or uh yeah <laughs> let's see here oh well, that's well, too he wants to know if it's just toned i don't know if it I, i'm gonna toned? take a look and see if i have all right here we go that's it for all the selection. So now let's mm -hmm. let's see here. Dang. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's it. Oh, so yeah. we've got okay. one, two, three, four, five, six. And for mm -hmm. certificates of authenticity, you've got six of those. Mm -hmm. And so let's see. T Rex pendant. Mm -hmm. 0.29 ounces, 925 sterling. Mm -hmm. So that goes with this guy right here. Let me put mm -hmm. him there. Mm -hmm. And we'll move that down. And then let's see. Pirate coin, 999 fine silver, 24 karat gold gilded. Ooh, 1.5 ounces. So this is gold oh. gilded silver. Man, it's number 142 of 882. And I'm not sure what the significance is mm -hmm. of 882, but that's how many either he's already made or plans yeah. to make. So it's it's silver and it's gold gilded. Yeah. Man, it, it was worth the wait, Mrs. T. It was. Uh, Spanish treasure. Uh, that is one troy ounce. That's this guy right here. Yeah. And like I mentioned, let me widen out just a little bit. Let me see if that helps. Uh, I already had one of these. So this guy... We'll go up, and so there's that. Uh, what is that? Ellie Star? Ellie Star? Um, it's 2.99 ounces. Must be this right here. Uh-huh. Because that, this yeah. is, the weight here is about three ounces or so. So I'll have to do a little research on that. Mm -hmm. um, and then you've got the T-Rex is 3.32 ounces. Oh. So let me put that there. Man, oh, man. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It even stands up. Look how freaking cool. Yeah. That is awesome. It's mesmerizing. <laughs> like you really just want to keep staring at it. Uh-huh. 
And let's see. And then you have the pirate coin, one troy ounce. Uh, that must be uh, this right here. Actually, I think this is the Spanish treasure. Now that I'm looking at it, okay. Spanish treasure. This is a replica of a Spanish coin, like a cob. And so that must go there. And this is the pirate coin. So that goes there. So we, I think we've got all the pieces put together there. And so let me show you. Wow, that was really, really worth the wait, uh, especially for this T-Rex. Incredible. Mm -hmm. Absolutely incredible. All the pieces, though, but that one was oh, something else. Oh, my gosh. Um, so anyway, guys, I'm a little uh, flabbergasted with this uh, beauty here in front of me. And I appreciate you guys uh, showing up. Wow, there's 40 people here. Yeah. Mrs. C. Well, um, this was a treat because we were all waiting to see what's going Wow. Place. Six pieces. And uh, man, I'll tell you what, that dude is a good guy and mm -hmm. a good friend to have. And I have a feeling, uh, you know, I'll be doing uh, more business with him and hopefully hanging out with him. Uh, again, and uh, some upcoming coin sh uh, shows uh, that are scheduled. I think he might have mentioned something about going to Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if we're going to the ANA uh, this fall. Man, that I would love to. I'm not sure if work will permit us to go or not. But he's such a cool guy to hang out with. Really nice guy. If you aren't familiar with AJ Bain, check him out on Instagram. Uh, in tomorrow's video, I'll put links to his uh his page on Instagram and his other, um, you know, particulars, his website and all that kind of good stuff. But uh, man, oh man, we are going to have a good auction. Uh, we were just laying out stuff on the table uh, to my left over there. And we've got some really neat stuff, stuff you've never seen before. Uh, as we've been going throughout this journey, uh, Mrs. T and I have been making uh, more and more friends along the way and uh, lots of opportunities. So you're gonna see, uh, obviously, the stuff you see before you, uh, the cool stuff that's on my carousel, mm -hmm. and even more above and beyond that. Uh, Star Stacker, it's AJ Bain. If you wanna look him up, uh, he is a famous uh, silver poor artist, and uh, he has a really cool story, man. He was uh, doing art, his, his silver poor artistry, plugging away, plugging away, plugging away. And uh, he's a humble guy, real humble guy, nice guy, a family man, a younger dude. And, um, you know, just trying to make a living off of pouring silver. And if you guys all remember, uh, you know, a while yeah. back, um, it, we started getting these stimulus checks mm -hmm. and those were sent around uh, the country. And I do you remember, Mrs. T, we were shopping uh, for furniture because we were due for a new couch downstairs and people were going to the <laughs> furniture stores and everywhere else under the sun blowing their stimulus money mm -hmm. and we had kind of saved up for a couch and we were uh, ready yeah. to buy one and people were like give me this give me that give me yeah. the, you know the people were buying like drunken sailors <laughs> <laughs> and uh, AJ took all his stimulus money and put it back into his craft. He bought new equipment, he tooled up, he bought new tools, and I think he just leveled up like two or three times and now has become uh, someone who can put together silver artwork like this um, that is just mind blowing that this is made out of uh, 925 silver and you know other beautiful pieces like this. Mm -hmm. And just incredible guys. So anyway, that's a story. Uh, I I like supporting him because of that story. We kind of rapped, we talked, we chatted. He kind of told me some stuff about his upbringing and where he's at now and his mm -hmm. his uh, art his artistic journey. I'm like, man, this is a dude I want to support. Little did I know he was gonna hook me up uh, like this. And so anyway, enough about AJ. Enough from T and Mrs. T. Uh, we're kind of pooped. We're going to get up super early, have some breakfast, got some bacon ready to go, and uh, some eggs, and then a couple cups of coffee in us. And we're going to rock and roll tomorrow morning, 8.30 a.m. And uh, yeah, uh, Peter uh, put his, you know, I think smart people reinvested that. Peter Stewart saying he put his 
stimulus uh, into his house and created an Airbnb. And um, yeah. yeah, that's, that's, you know, putting reinvesting is the wise way to go. And uh, anyway, guys, mm -hmm. uh, we'll see you tomorrow morning, uh, 8 30 AM central. Uh, so if you're on the West coast, like, uh, other folks, Lee Coins is saying 6.30 a.m. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and thanks for getting up so early to hang out with us. We really appreciate it. Starting your day with your cup of coffee and me and Mrs. T. And uh, we're going to have some fun. We're going to offer you some cool stuff, some unique stuff. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Everybody have a good night. Good night, everyone. See you in the morning. Thanks for being here this evening. We'll see you. Uh, tomorrow morning. Hasta mañana.